guys, I'm just about to use my Royal uh, Vicola unit, uh, which is my bigger of my two units. I've got, I haven't actually used it to Vicola like you would with the Simple Natural unit. Today is the first time I'm doing it. Um, so I need to make sure the temperature gauge is correct. So I just thought that I would bring you guys along uh, so you can see how I'm going to check that the... Um, the water temperature is correct in this unit. Uh, so it needs to sit at 92 degrees uh, once it comes to temperature. This unit needs to run for 90 minutes instead of 60 minutes like the uh, natural Vicola unit uh, because it is a lot bigger unit. So uh, to check that this temperature uh, on the dial is the same as what the temperature is in the water, I am just going to use this is actually my candy thermometer um, it's this this is probably the only thermometer I've got in the house that I know that the little bit doesn't move up and down in it um, like a lot of those cheap ones do so I'm just going to use this I'm just going to put this in the unit so my my jars are all in here they're all filled up I have cordial in here um, I have orange and Mandarin cordial and the ones with blue tops are mandarin cordial. So I'm gonna put, I'm just putting that in there. I might actually put it on the side because I know, there we go, it's not going to um, sit under the water otherwise. So there, so I've just put that in there and now I'm gonna pop the lid on. Then I'm going to turn my unit on. So I've turned my unit on and I've set it to uh, where it looks about that it might be about 92 degrees. So my plan is to uh, mark on that from up on there when it reaches 92 degrees so that I can see um, where I need to set it each time I actually do the unit. So I'm going to mark it with a permanent marker pen. Um, so this is going to be in here for 90 minutes. So I'm going to come back in probably about 45 minutes and um, check the temperature then. And then um, keep a close eye on it then. So when it hits 92 degrees, I can check my, uh, see if my machine's actually turned itself off or not. Hi guys, I'm going to quickly jump in here during this video. I'm re-editing this video, so this is the second version of this one. Um, but while editing it, I decided that I would go and take a quick look and double check my times on the Royal Natural Vicola unit. Now, in doing that, I have discovered that it basically says that if you are using size 10 to size 20 jars, the Vicola jars sizes, you use this unit for 60 minutes. If you are using size 27 to 31 jars, that you should um, process this for 75 minutes. And then if you're using size 36, 75 uh, jars, that you process for 90 minutes. Now, I don't fully understand why when there is going to be more water content than jar content, uh, with the smaller jars why you would process it for a shorter length of time. Now I'm going to just put this information out there and then you need to make the decision on the length of time that you're going to process for and or how much you're going to have a look into the time on the uh, processing of this. Now I am definitely going to be looking into it a bit more but I will definitely be at a minimum, I will be processing my jars for 75 minutes, which is what I did in this video, 75 minutes, not 90 minutes. Um, and I will be chasing up a little more information um, for my own personal use and checking out, um, just checking out how and why you would process something that is this particular unit is an awful lot larger than the simple natural unit so it's going to take longer for the water to get to 92 degrees now the 92 degrees is standard across no matter what unit you're looking at that is what it needs to get to 92 degrees um, but I don't understand when 
it doesn't matter what size jars you're using in your simple natural unit uh, that you don't change the length of time that you're processing in there it's all standard it's exactly the same it's one at one hour or 60 minutes so why they're advertising and why some of the Facebook groups are saying and showing information that shows a different length of processing time for this unit I'm not 100% sure but I would with the extra volume of water in this unit I would do it at a minimum of for 75 minutes um, which is exactly what I did with these this lot of jars and I haven't had any problems with them sealing or going bad so so you really do need to take your own look in and don't take anybody else's word for it and make the decision yourself um, what you see is the correct amount of time to process it. Realistically, this machine at 60 minutes, regardless to how big the jars in there, it has not reached 92 degrees. This unit has a lot more water in it than the simple natural unit. And it did take the full 75 minutes or 70 minutes or so to get to uh, 92 degrees. So I don't understand why when the volume of water in the unit would be more with a smaller jar, um, why you would be encouraged to process it for a less amount of time. So but guys, just make sure that you fully, fully are aware of how long and how to use your own units. If you're buying an older unit, do do the research, take a look at a whole bunch of different um, YouTube channels, and um, I do know that the Vicola units are really hard to come across and find their information. Um, take a look on the Vicola website, contact Vicola themselves, talk to people who have used the units for a long time. Um, and realistically, myself, this unit that I have here, I don't even remember whether I was given the unit or whether it was... Uh, whether I bought the unit as I've had it for that long so um, but I do know that the majority of the time I use it as a water bath and not as an actual canner this is the first time I've done that so um, just I'm really just what I'm trying to get at, get to you guys is to make sure that you know how to use your unit and what to what length of time that your unit should be processed for goes the same with any you know anything that you're doing in preserving if you don't do it for the correct amount of time for the correct length of time for the correct altitude that you live at you are going to come across some issues with preserving your food so alright guys I'm gonna get back into this video and finish showing you how to test that your unit is coming up to temperature correctly so this unit's been on for about half an hour. Excuse the glare of the glasses. I won't be able to read it without them. So um, I'm going to open this unit. I can feel that it's really, really quite hot. Um, so I'm just going to actually tack on the temperature now. So you can see, you might be able to see there's a little bit of steam coming off it and there's a few bubbles starting to come up. So we're going to just check this thermometer out and see where we are at. There we go. So we're at 60 degrees and dropping because it's out of the water. So we're at about 60 degrees or 140 Fahrenheit. So you can see that. So that unit will be fine to sit there for a little bit longer. I will come again and check in about 20 minutes. So we have about 20 minutes left on this unit. And I'm just coming in again to check the temperature. It has hit about 75 degrees. You might not be able to see that. Well, almost 80 So the unit looks like it's not actually going to boil, um, it still has about 20 minutes left on it. I will definitely check it at the end of the time to see what temperature it has come up to as well. My unit has now reached almost 90 degrees, uh, which is good. There is about 6 minutes left, so I'm just going to let this thing 
do with the rest of its time and I'm happy with uh, where I've got it set at so I'm going to mark that on my dial um, when it's finished so that I can unplug it and do it that way um, so yeah so it's pretty simple guys this unit was actually supposed to run for 75 minutes thanks guys for joining me here again and uh, hopefully that was a useful little bit of information on uh, checking your temperature in your machines so just a quick roundup here guys as you can see from that experiment it took 75 minutes for it to actually reach the 92 degrees there is no way I could have made it go any faster um, even if I'd turned the dial up higher it still would have only it still would have taken 75 minutes for it to get to 90 degrees, 92 degrees. So I don't understand. And you guys remember, I'm only putting this information out there that I really do not understand why they are saying to process smaller jars with more water in it. So it's going to take longer at... 60 minutes so either somebody's gotten their information backwards um, or these units have not been tested properly in a long 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 time so you need to make the decision but your temperature definitely needs to come up to 92 degrees before it's time to turn it off all right guys thanks for watching again today check out the videos on the side here i'll link some more in i'm redoing the pressure canning and um the natural simple vicola unit so i'll probably pop those up the side there so you can go and check them out as well and don't forget if you don't hit that subscribe button you can't check out more videos here and the link for the other two channels will be down the bottom in the description as well if they're not working let me know in the comments and we will see you guys again in the preserving kitchen have a great day